Here we go. Welcome everyone. How is everybody doing? We're gonna play a little Game of Thrones. Now, if you're a fan of the show and fan of the books, you will definitely love this game. Uh, if you have no idea what the hell Game of Thrones is or have heard about it and never seen it and you still want to watch it, go right ahead. There's going to be a ton of spoilers for you if you will be interested in watching the show. But for all you uh, Game of Thrones nerds out there, we're going to have a lot of fun today. I will warn you, if you haven't got past Season 3, I believe this takes place like right during the end of Season 3 into Season 4. Into that transition, I think it plays a little bit into Season 4. Uh, which was like, uh, I want to say 2014 that season, season, yeah, season, it was 2014 when it came out. No. Yes, 2014. So, it, it, it takes place within that period. So, if you're in season one, or watching season two, or into season three, uh, watch out for spoilers. It's going to be right from the very beginning. But let's take a dive into it, shall we? All right. I am super excited. I've played a little bit of it just to test it out, you know, for the for the recording. Uh, but uh, nothing too much. Okay, hey, this game series adapts to choices. Anyways, yes, for a thousand years of House Forster has been Lord Bannerman and House Stark. In the darkness reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses, seek to claim Forster ironwood for themselves, and the fate of the House Forster hangs in the balance. I'm not sure if Forrester is mentioned in the books, maybe briefly, uh, I don't recall, but uh, this is supposed to be like a small northern house that sided with the Starks during the, uh, you know, when they were going against the crown right here. Oh look, White Tree of Gondor. Why does that look like the White Tree of Gondor? Are they secretly, Gond secretly Gondorians? Must be a token reference. All right. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. Except <laughs> free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Hell yeah. Lord Forrester's sword. Now, if any of you are aware of this part, even if you haven't played this, you probably know exactly what's going on right here. Make sure it's spotless this One of those gut wrenching parts in the whole series. <laughs> See his hand that clock clip to the claymore. <laughs> sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. Hell I yeah. I see that as a friend. You'll Even see. if we're being honest. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place. So if this is your first time broken. seeing somebody play a Telltale game, you know that this is like more like an adventure point and click with the quick actions. Near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Yeah. So what really happened? So anyways, you can choose what you want with the dialogue, which is really That's cool, depending on your character the character you, you wish to play as, or yourself. I like to put myself in these situations. Well, and and I, most realistic, how I, I would respond. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? I brought him to his knees! Lord Forrester. Yeah, it's Forrester. he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face! You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every He's time he tells it. He's floor. <laughs> Get your leads, Lord, some wine. A little of dirt off. Yeah, I respect the guy. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. All I've right. never seen a beal plowed so well. That house is. is that the Mormons? No, I'm hearing the Mormons. Or maybe it is. <laughs> Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. Yeah. Turn up. Get drunk. I work hard. I deserve to get drunk. To Rob Stark, the king in the north. Yeah, the Rob Stark. King of the north. Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride right. as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Ride! 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 Winter is coming. Ride! Winter is coming. Everybody loves that one. 
Let's hope it works. Our most overused line over. in the series. Got it. And in the books. Did they say more in the series than yes, in the books? Lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. Yeah. And who's like Roderick? This, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on uh, my mind for a while now. What do you mean? You mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. That squire's not that bad. How shall I reward your loyalty? Not to worry about shit. What just can I offer you? See, you nothing really. Well. I seek nothing, my lord. Serving a noble house such as yours is reward enough. Oh, you're far too modest, Garrett. Whatever you believe is best, my lord. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But hmm. you've erased those doubts entirely. Awesome. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Hmm. Your hard work has paid off. Begging your pardon, my lord, but it's long overdue. Oh shit, that means. Arrogance doesn't become you. Gary. Fuck. Perhaps I missed I say that. your readiness for this honor. Now go and find Roderick. If I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I will, my lord. <laughs> I meant okay. to put X. Bloody hell. Ignore that, folks. Okay. Squire, fetch us more wine. Uh, I don't think about tell you really gotta pay attention to dialogue and your choices and they give you such Come a certain a little bit of time you. Fine you owe me Oh you? I've been a squire longer than you have I outrank you All right, we'll, we'll do this little side quest before we talk to Roderick Roderick that dude's son Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. Dude, just do the work. A liar and an arrogant prick. It's your job to do the work and stop complaining. You try squiring for Norin and see how much you like it. Oh my gosh, shut that's up. That's you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the oh, seven kingdoms. Oh, fuck kingdom. you, man. I suppose this beats pig farming. But who really doesn't love uh, bacon? Not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig Where you're rich or poor, you eat that shit. You eat that bacon. All I'm saying doesn't is, make us any different. This rate will never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Oh my God! Quit your Holy bitching. Around a fucking wedding. I'm sick That's it, people. You, I, I get you no, got to vent, but this is, it's the this. point where you're just Crazy complaining you like say. an asshole. Maybe if my uncle were castled in of all the time he's spending complaining, he could have I don't know done something do about it. it. Work I'm harder. Further. It's right over there. It was. I mean, oh, oh, the twin stronghold of the house fray. The oh, the red wedding. Who remembers that? Oh man. I didn't read that far into the books yet. But when I did saw this, I knew you something was fishy, drunk your share. Good and I knew something was coming up. In a generous mood. Oh, oh fucking phrase. A damn straight fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Oh, why well, they brought their gear with them? Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What's wrong? Uh oh, something's fishy, man. You don't see this shit? Oh, there's that musical cue. If y'all don't know what that is, it's the reigns of Castamere. They're acting rather odd. Do we need to get we back? We need to get back. Now. They're fine, they can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. Yeah, look. This guy has no already. perception. Look at that. What's wrong with him? Something the matter. Oh, wait, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. These guys walking around, their sword sheath, spears what drawn. About? So stupid. What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? Sword and sheath. Okay, they've. What's the rush? There's no need to fucking run. You gotta warn the others. Warn them about what? There's no time to explain. We need to find Roderick. Yep. He's out there by himself. Oh man, this is great. <gasps> Now, I know the Starks and all these other houses were like hammered as shit. 
Actually, I don't know. I mean, it's not that late. And plus, I mean, how many phrases? I know I, I got. I understand they caught them by surprise, but is there, are there literally that many phrases that they overwhelm these, you know, hardened soldiers? I always wondered about that. And if you know your history, this 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 event in the book was uh, heavily based off of two things. Yeah, dodge. Uh, two 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 points in history: the Black Dinner and the slaughter of. Shit, I forgot the Scottish clan name. Look at the history in that, it's really cool. So, similar shit has happened to this in his real life history. Oh, gotta get my, my board. Yeah, oh shit, come on, man. Just stand around there like an asshole. Okay, okay, gotta dodge. And <laughs> these guys get tied up during all this chaos. Oh. Shield up. Damn. Yeah, shield ram. Oh, those guys untied themselves. Either way, they helped me out. Run away, wag. Oh no, I wonder who in the hell lit, lit that on fire. <laughs> Probably thought it was a cool idea. There we go. Get out of that. Oh, I lost my shield. Shit. Roderick. He's sword and boarding it. Hmm, nice kick. Oh shit. Oh my god, all these fucking phrases look the same. Yeah. Yeah. I get trampled through. Ooh. Mm. Fucking ass. Man. Watch out, Roderick. Should have gone there to help him. God damn, I got his ass crushed by that horse. Oh, great. Yeah, he's kicking ass with that Claymore. Ah. Oh. Got him. Did you find Roderick? Did those bodies disappear? Speak up, Try to save him. I, I tried to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Ah oh, shit. He's dead. Good fighter. Quickly. Okay, okay. These guys, get these guys. Wait, how in the fuck? Wasn't he like in front of me, like in front of that guy? Not me. How did he teleport on the side where I was at? Oh, what the flying shit! You fucking traitor! Fuck him, Walter Frey. Oh my lord. While there's still time. If you've seen Hot Fuzz, you know that uh, the guy actor who plays Walter Frey had a funny part in that movie. <laughs> he had like this thick British country oh. accent, and nobody could understand him. Just YouTube, it's super hilarious. Seven hells. Oh, uh, gotta keep we moving, have my friend. To keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. We could take him. That's the thing, like, the Freys aren't like the best fighters in the realm, so I don't see how these guys are getting their asses kicked. I understand it caught by surprise, a little drunk, but I, I, I could just see if the, the phrase are just like cockroaches as overwhelm everything. I'm gonna grab the sword. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. You have to go. Welcome to the Dude, man. I, I won't leave you, my lord. And you will. My lord, I... You will obey me. Just, Tell you take him. Uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. North Grove must never be Tell lost. No one but him. I will the not let the White City fall. You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. If you All right. The house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uncle. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go. 
Okay. Oh, he's got an axe. He's got a little sidearm there. What, what the? Oh man, I, this is two guys. I could have taken that other guy out. Is this sword just floating up there by itself? Where did it come from? What is that sorcery? Look at him holding that claymore like a ninja. Yeah, that's a perfect way to hold a claymore. Oh, look at this opening. Who remembers this? This, this, this super popular tune. Oh, it's just like watching HBO series, which HBO did have a partake in it, and they uh, helped them out. I'm not sure if they actually got the original writers from the show, but uh, from what I can tell, and what I'm playing, and what I've seen a little bit of this game, it has the feel of both the show and of the books, because it does mention, I believe the Foresters are mentioned in the books, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'll, look, I'll double check on that, but but it does have a lot of other side stuff from the lore that you miss in the in the series, but you get from the books. And Telltale is what I love about it. They have great writing, and I'm not sure if they got the HBO writers to help them out, but I know that um, some of the Telltale writers, especially the guy who wrote the Walking Dead one, brilliant, brilliant writer. So yeah, the, Telltale knows what they're doing when it comes to this. I played Wolf Among Us, Walking Dead. Game of Thrones are already pretty cool, and those, oh, those three right now are pretty great. So, And if you're not used to a Telltale game, this is basically what it is. It's like a kind of, not really choose your own adventure, but there's this a path you can follow, and depending on what you choose, can, like they said in the beginning, can tailor your story. So people will have a different way and a different experience depending on the person, their personality. Now, it's not like superbly different. I mean, there is somewhat of a difference. You get different dialogues, but but it's it's cool. I mean, it, it, I like that, and you're seeing that more in games. Uh, you see a little bit of that in The Witcher. You're seeing that in uh, Mass Effect was kind of like one that started, but before that, Baldur's Gate, you know? So, so I, and that's why I appreciate what, what Telltale is doing, and hopefully uh, other games take note of this, because it's really good, and they are. What's this piggy doing here? Oh! Catch up. Lord. All right. Fresh. Fresh blood. Is it a human? Is it the piggies? Let's find out. Go ranger mode. Gonna track where this blood came from. Oh, oh. See you guys. See how good of a ranger he is. Tracking that shit. <laughs> Sorry, like five feet away. If you, if you notice, like, the background and stuff, it has that, um, impressionist, like, oil brush style, which I like. I like it, and, and it's, it's a, it's a little, um, I feel it more here than I did in The Walking Dead and Wolf Among Us. And, and, and that's cool because even though maybe the, the facial animations and the character modules feel like a, a telltale but they they do revolve a style around it like this feels like a painting like this th this game feels like a like you were in you know of course the the song of ice and fire rolled but but if like a like a, a bit of an impressionist painting which i like and if you play the walking dead it has that like grainy comic book texture that you that, that's very close to robert kirkman's uh, art style and then if you look at wolf among us which was based off another comic book and that comic book has a lot of details painted and and drawn and colored in it which the game does have a lot of that that background has a very clear crisp detail from like buildings and streets and cars and stuff it's really cool so you can tell it's a telltale game with its certain style and character modules and, and of course the gameplay and the way it's played but but i like how they give its their own and every game its own uniqueness when it comes to the style itself overall, you know, which is so cool. Uh, I, I, I feel like that's a little bit overlooked in these games. But I like it. If, if you're not a fan of it, I can tell. It's not like, oh, the best 4K graphics. But, I mean, that's not what they're going for. That's father's car. Oh. Wait. This is my house. What the fuck is going on? Bolton better give us oh, fuck the Boltons. They sucked their dick to get up this road and took it up the butt. Oh, what the hell? You just killing pigs for no fucking reason? Don't you have to eat that shit? Winter's coming and you're just throwing away food like a bunch of assholes? Get your chili bowl ass out of here, man. I said move on. Get off my fucking lawn. Yeah, get my claymore out. That's so. I should wield it like a ninja, just underhand. Like. 
And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my lawn. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton Bolton logic. Kill the food. We don't need it for winter. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Fuck you, asshole. Perry! Yeah, that was a good Perry. <laughs> he looks like Zeke from The Witcher. I just noticed that. I'll have that sword, ass. boy. Come and get it. Oh, you actually can say it. Okay. <laughs> Come get it, you bastard. Yeah, almost pressed A there. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, what the... Ha! Oh fuck you, disarm me. I guess I don't have my two-handed weapon proficiency. Let me put that in put that in my character sheet. Oh shit, what do I get? What do I get? Oh, pitchfork, pitchfork. Pitchfork, man. Let me tell you this. Use a pitchfork, folks, when in danger. Believe it or not, a pitchfork can do more damage than a sword uh, a lot of times. It's sometimes a lot of times, but take it from Geralt from The Witcher. They mentioned that uh, a few times in the series itself, which is hilarious. And I believe it. I believe it. Can do more damage than the sword. At times. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Get my. Oh, fuck you. Oh, that sucks. Right in the leg, right in the thigh. That's a deep gash. <laughs> Kicked him with my bad leg. Alright. Grab it. Yeah. Yeah. Mercy, please. I beg of you. Fuck you, I'm man. The family. Bullshit. The alive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. Yeah, I didn't think no, about please. your family when you were killing my family. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Lord White Hill will see you hang for this. Fuck White Hill and the I horse promise. you rode on. Yeah, I could have. I could have freaking William Walston. And knocked his ass, knocked his ass flat off his horse. <laughs> you see that running animation? It looks funny. <laughs> it's pretty goofy. Got it. You survived. God damn! They killed my father. Or killed. Your, your yeah, he's gonna be dead. Wait, where's my sister? Oh, she hid. <laughs> Not much of a hiding spot, sis. That's no sister of mine. I tried to Finding stop. Finding a dumbass hiding spot. Aw, oh, my dad. I killed my dad. These fucking assholes. I, I get it. You know, the Boltons are trying to show their authority across the land, but I mean, killing the farmers I'll that. Kill the men who did yeah, this. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill all of them. And you know, there's a lot of shit going on. You you, know, you don't necessarily want to kill your farmers.